Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel, Best and Intuitive Tarot. And in today's reading, I'm taking a look at Gemini's Live Life, Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus for the week of January 2021. However, my readings are timeless and time is fluid. All right, if you're new to my channel, welcome. Please stay a while. If you could please hit like, subscribe, and the notification bell, I would greatly appreciate that. If you feel like you're resonating with the reading and you want me to get extra, extra nosy, more nosy than I already do, I will also provide the link to the extended pinned at the top of the comments and also down in the description box below where you'll also find a link to my website if you want to book a private reading. However, I'm closing private readings at the end of the month because I am traveling to New England to pick up my sister, Frankie, from Frankie's Tarot as I'm helping her move down to Florida to be closer to where I am at. All right, the hangman wanted to fly out. Some of you guys could be connecting to a Pisces. Whenever this, you know, flies out of my deck like that, it tells me that someone is trying to release something in a very fast way, but they're trying to see something in a different point of view first. So whether this is you or your person you're dealing with, someone has been keeping a connection stagnant and out of the blue, they're finally gonna make some sort of decision. The way that that hopped out, it's like out of the blue after keeping something stagnant so, for so damn long, okay? So it's like a rapid, aha, type of moment that someone has after being in their head for so long. So let's see what's going on, shall we? Gemini, please, and love. Gemini, please, and love. Gemini. What's going on with the awesome, sexy Geminis? Every Gemini I've ever known, you guys are sexy as hell and very intelligent but sneaky. <laughs> what do we have for Gemini? One more shuffle. Let's rock this deck. Gemini. But I mean sneaky in a really good way. <laughs> the overall energy for you, the magician, Aries energy. You're manifesting a new life, Gemini. 2021 is your year for new shit. Whether it's a new job, new love, new friends, new everything, you're definitely manifesting what you want. You've you're realizing you have all the tools in your arsenal to make whatever life you want for yourself possible and you're no longer allowing people to get into your toolbox and mess with your nails and steal a wrench or whatnot. You are manifesting a new beginning and you could be connecting with someone who wants to be a part of that new beginning and they're finally making some impulsive decision. So what's your present energy looking like? The Nine of Swords. You're in your head. You're like, whoa, I don't know what's going on here. This person hasn't texted me in three days or... They did, but they didn't show any emotion with the, the message. Or, you know, is this even going to be a thing? Is this one-sided? Have I just misguided myself? Is my intuition lying to me? I could have sworn I felt the connection, but this person's not proving it to me in their actions. You know what? I really think I should just wrap this up, close out this cycle, and manifest a new life for myself because I deserve more. But at the same time, but what if this person does want to be with me? Is like ruminating in your mind at nighttime. You're watching all these tarot readings. Hi. Trying to get some sort of clarity. You'll watch one reading that tells you to do one thing. You'll watch another one that tells you to do another, and you're like, what the fudge? All right, but overall, you're like, like I want some I want something new whether it's with this person or not. So what's coming towards you Gemini? <laughs> of course, the three of cups, cancer energy. Someone's wanting to hang out. Someone's going to be reaching out, asking, hey, let's go out to Friday, you know, TJ Fridays for some two for ones and have some drinks or get together and just, you know, talk and laugh and have a few um, shots of fireball. Someone is definitely wanting to reach out and reconnect and have fun with you. Could be a Cancerian that you're connecting to. And with that three being there, I'm not going to jump to third party situations right off the bat. I'm going to wait until I see the rest of the energy. But I am definitely getting a friendly vibe here. I'm getting someone that looks at you like you are a friend. And that might be what's troubling you right now because you're possibly developing emotions for this person. All right, so I'll get more info, okay? So what's in the blockage? What could be blocking you guys from being together? The Four of Cups, Cancer Energy. I feel like you gave this person an offer and they sat there all friggin' childlike saying, no, I don't want it. Or they didn't even give you an answer. It's like, it was like, um, picture this. You texted this person, look, I have feelings for you. They're real and worth exploring. And then you hit send. They got the text and went, oh, really? And then that's it. They didn't say, I have feelings for you in return. They didn't say, I don't have feelings for you either. They didn't say anything. They just didn't acknowledge it, leaving you up in your hair. Up in your hair, really? Up in your head, wondering what the hell's going on with this person. You're like, I open up to this person. 
They didn't say they didn't like me back, but they also didn't say they liked me too. It's like, what do I do here? You really don't know what, where you stand with this person because they didn't give you a no or they didn't give you a yes. But it looks like they are wanting to hang out with you and talk with you and have some fun, okay? But the blockage is you offered them something and you didn't get it accepted. Or this could be reversed. They offered you something and you went, nah, because you were in your head about what could go on with this person. But we'll know more when I clarify. All right, so what's in the foundation? The Five of Swords. A lot of head games, a lot of mind games, a lot of uh, anxiety. The Five of Swords, every time I get this card, my anxiety goes through the roof. It's, it's that energy of always needing to read between the lines or play guessing games. Hmm, what did he mean when he sent that text? What did she mean by taking four hours to respond to that text? It's that energy where you can't get a clear decision, you can't get a clear answer, you can't get any clarity to save your butt with this person, and it's really starting to stress you out and you're feeling like it's a lose-lose situation. Or there might be another person involved that's making this decision really hard for this person. So what is the past energy? What is, com what is um, currently influencing today's energy? The Fool, Aquarius energy. Someone didn't take a risk. Someone didn't accept your offer for a new start. We have the Magician here. This, is, this goes hands in hand. I don't know why I can't talk today. I don't usually have this trouble. Is it Mer Mercury retrograde? I can't even say Mercury, okay? So I feel like in the recent past, you offered this person something you said, hey, take my cup, let's go on a journey together. And this person didn't even bother looking up. They just sat there like this. No, I don't want to. In fact, they didn't even say they didn't want to. They didn't say anything. They didn't say anything. So you were left with this lingering offer that nothing was taken on. Okay, they didn't accept your offer, nor did they reject your offer. It was just nothing. So it's like that pink elephant in the room when you're dealing with this person. All right. In the recent past, you gave them an offer and they didn't take it. They didn't take some sort of risk, all right, that you're manifesting. So what is crowning this reading? What is on your mind? The Six of Wands. You want success. You want victory. You want some damn attention from this person, all right? You want balance and harmony in your life, all right? And you're, you're planning on getting the attention somewhere if it's not with this person because you want 2021 to be a kick-ass year for yourself. And I'm happy for you, Gemini. So what's to come in your near future with this person? Ten of Wands, releasing some burdens, allowing yourself to take those ten rods to the tower, blow them up into smithereens, grab that new wand, and go on a new path with or without this person. We'll find out. I'm going to find out if you're releasing this person altogether or there is a return from this person to where you can finally release these burdens that have been weighing heavily on you at night. So let's look at the person that you could be dealing with. Strength. Leo energy, this person has definitely been taming themselves, holding back from you. I feel like I feel like this is connecting to last week's reading for some reason. When I looked at this card, I immediately saw the title to your reading that I did last week. I think it was titled um, Frozen Courage or something like that. And now this card comes up for the person that you're dealing with. Someone... Someone's got emotions, but they didn't open up or accept any offers, but they do want to still be in your life with that Three of Cups. So what's your hopes and fears? The higher fit. You're hoping for a commitment from this person. All right. Taurus energy. And what's the possible outcome? The Six of Cups. Someone returning, which we have with that Three of Cups. Someone's returning. All right because they miss you, because they're thinking about you. They have tender thoughts about you with the Six of Cups. And this is soulmate energy, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. So let's get some clarifiers. There's that hangman on the bottom. Remember how that card went flying out a moment ago? This person kept this connection so stagnant, then all of a sudden, boom, they return. They make an impulsive decision to return and want to connect. So let's see what's going on. Oh my god, the hangman! <laughs> the overall energy on the bottom is the hangman, you guys. Are we getting stalked by a Pisces or um, this little hangy bobber guy or girl is finally making some decision to release something and move forward or to get out of their own head? So let's find out. I love synchronicities. So why is the magician the overall energy for Gemini? 
You could be connecting to an earth sign, an air sign, water, or fire. So why is, really, the wheel of fortune? Something is fated to happen. Universe is stepping in. This is going to turn in your favor, though. Taurus, Scorpio, Leo, and Aquarius energy. The wheel of fortune is luck is on your side. And the fact that it's connecting to that magician, that's some really good stuff. Either your money is about to improve or... Justice and the Two of Cups. Justice will be served in regards to someone you feel like is your soulmate. Okay? Justice will be served. So I feel like you're going to get what you deserve, Gemini. So if you did everything right, you're getting what you deserve. If you did anything wrong, you're getting what you deserve. But for the most part, I don't see that you did anything wrong. So luck is on your side. Justice is coming in to serve, what, serve you what you deserve in regards to the soulmate with the Two of Cups. And it, it was fated to happen with that Wheel of Fortune. And look, the Ace of Wands. So why is Gemini's present energy the Nine of Swords? You're wrapping up some sort of mental stress. You're not taking this shit no more. And I'm proud of you. You're like, uh-uh, I'm not putting any of this negative space in my life anymore. I need to just forge ahead. And someone is like returning just when you're doing this. So why is that Nine of Swords in the present energy? Yeah, the Nine of Swords. Someone who was holding back with the Four of Pentacles is rushing in with very fast communication. I'm talking very fast communication. That is your energy as well. After, you know, a lot of head games with that Five of Swords. Someone didn't want to be vulnerable with you, Gemini. Someone didn't want to be vulnerable. You see that naked cat? It has no fur. I feel like this person didn't want to be exposed. Didn't want to expose their vulnerability. And that created a lot of conflict for you. You just wanted them to be themselves and answer to you how they felt about you. But it wasn't easy for this person, so they didn't do it. They just didn't say anything. And that hurt you. That hurt you. If you're going to open up your feelings to someone, at least you want the common courtesy for this person to say, I don't feel that way about you, or I do feel that way, but not right now. At least something. I feel like this person didn't even say anything when you offer this emotion to them. Oh, yeah? I feel like it's the response you got. Oh, yeah? Oh, yeah, it can mean a whole million things. And to you, it, it, was, an, it was enough for you to be in your head and lose a lot of sleep over this person. What did he mean by oh yeah? What did she mean by oh yeah? Does that mean oh yeah, I'm excited that you like me? Or does it mean oh yeah, sorry to hear that, I don't feel the same? What does oh yeah mean? Is what you had ruminating in your mind over and over and over and over again. And we got the five of swords in your foundation. Your foundation is your subconscious. This is your subconscious energy. Just telling you, this is not something we should accept anymore. You deserve better. And there is a wish coming towards you with the star, Aquarius energy. Or something is happening under the full moon in Leo on January 28th. A lot of people are getting that. So, why is this Three of Cups coming towards you? Someone wants to get together, and there's some laughs with that Three of Cups. So maybe you're getting together with some friends, or this person is acknowledging you as a friend and missing you, or there's going to be some reconciliation, perhaps. Why is that Three of Cups here? The Page of Pentacles and the Ten of Cups. This person's coming to you with an offer. They're going to be very cautious about this offer. It's a slow-moving offer, but it has long-term stability attached to it with the Ten of Cups. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio energy. Yep. There's the Ten of Swords. Okay? I feel like this person wasn't ready for this yet with you. They may have just, you know, gotten over an X. All right? So it looks like they're, they're coming in. So why is that Ten of Wands in the near future? Why are these burdens being lifted for Gemini? <sighs> oh my, I've got chills. You guys will not believe what just came out. Okay, hold on, let me flip my hair for this one. All right, remember how your current energy is the Nine of Swords being stressed out to the friggin' max, not knowing what the hell is going on? All right, so this person's coming towards you and they're communicating. And then in the near future, we have burdens being lifted, no longer being burdened, no longer being stressed. So once I clarified it, the Nine of Swords came out in reverse. Now you guys know I don't do reversals, but if it comes out that way, I have to acknowledge it. Okay? I just don't shuffle them reverse. But if it flips out reverse, I'm going to acknowledge it. So this is you stressed out, but in the near future, no more stress. No mas. 
okay, coming out of this. Whether you're with this person or not, you're going to heal and wrap this shit up and no longer allow it to take any more of your space, your energy, because you're manifesting a new life with or without this person. It's going to bring you a lot of freaking abundance. So why is that strength? I mean, actually, let me get this energy because your crowning energy is the six of wands. That's a lot of success. A lot of attention coming to your, to your way. Maybe once this person sees that you're getting a lot of attention, they're going to be like, whoa, I'm just about to lose a good opportunity. I am also getting heavy Leo here. So what's this six of wands all about? You, man, your person got me angry. I hardly ever get angry in my readings. The queen of wands, heavy Leo. And then the card that fell on the floor is the queen of pentacles. You might have a choice between two, you guys which is very common for a Gemini. You guys are the lover's energy anyway. You guys attract people so quickly. But that looks like there's going to be two people coming in who's going to want to give you an offer. I'm clarifying the six of wands, you guys, which is all about getting a lot of attention, a lot of recognition. So I feel like someone new is coming in just when this other person realizes, shit, I'm about to lose Gemini, and comes in with a long-term offer with that Knight of Pentacles on the bottom. You're going to have a choice between a fire sign and an earth sign, you guys. I don't know which one's the, the recent person and which one's the new person. You'll know your own shit. But if I had to guess, I would say the Queen of Wands is your past person and the Queen of Pentacles is the new person. And the Queen of Pentacles looks for stability. Loves long term. However, the Queen of Pentacles takes their time before getting into a relationship because they know once they accept someone in their life, they know they won't get out of it even if it turns toxic. But the Queen of Wands is really fast. When they like someone, they go for it, all right? So you use your own discernment on which one is your person. They don't have to be an earth sign or a fire sign, but they have been embodying that energy. But someone's coming in with a long-term offer. So it's kind of like the episode of The Bachelor or The Bachelorette where you pick which one you want to give your rose to. I don't ever watch that show, so I'm hoping I said that right. And the fact that there is a reef on one of these wands kind of goes hand in hand with what I just said. Who are you going to give your reef to, Gemini? Who are you going to give your rose to? <laughs> I'm such a dork. I need coffee. All right. Oh, look. This offer, this Knight of Pentacles offer is coming from old slow pokey over here with the Four of Cups. The one that didn't acknowledge you before. They're seeing you as a missed opportunity now because there's an offer coming towards you. Damn. And I feel like you might be leaving this person out in the cold because they waited too long, perhaps. So... And I feel like that's why justice says consequences on the bottom. This person's going to suffer the consequences for their actions because it looks like you might be moving forward. Man, there's a couple different ways this reading could go. So why is strength the person that Gemini is dealing with? This person's at a crossroads. They're making some sort of decision with the Two of Wands about making an effort with you with the Eight of Pentacles. They want to charge forward to you. They're coming towards you with an offer. But it's at a page level. Are you going to accept the page? Because... Someone's coming in with at least the Knight of Pentacles offer. So I feel like you have two offers. One is a Page of Cups. The other is a Knight of Pentacles. All right. And this person could be younger than you. And very shy, perhaps. So why is the Six of Cups in the outcome? Why is the Six of Cups in the outcome? The Four of Swords. Someone who is very in and out with the Knight of Wands and has possibly ghosted you or was very in and out with the communication with the four of swords is coming forward to see you with the six of swords they want to bring balance to the connection and bring this back to calming waters but you're not trusting this person with the devil you may be feeling like this person's going to be emotionally manipulative possibly noticing that you are finally meeting someone who is offering you long term and they're going to like con you into thinking that no stay with me i have what you want don't go for that other person's offer. You're going to miss me. I miss you, Gemini. Okay? Be very wary. Be very wary of this person who's coming in a little bit too late after hurting you in the past. It usually always happens. When you're, you're getting some good stuff coming your way, people are giving you positive attention, that's when the person that took advantage comes back. So you make a decision who you want. But you've got a new start regardless with the Ace of Cups. You've got a new start, Gemini. With or without, slow pokey here. Okay, so let me get some Romance Angels. You're looking like a hot snack in Aquarius season. That's all I'm going to say. And usually, 
Gemini, you usually have a choice between two, so use your own discernment, like I told Gemini, um, not Gemini, Libra. I told Libra, use your own discernment with this person that's coming back. Okay, so what's the highest message I can give to Gemini? The lovers, your energy. Someone you have a magnetic pull is coming towards you. Oh, damn. The reconciliation card. Someone from your recent past is coming back. Is this a uh, Mr. or Four Cup who didn't acknowledge your cup the last time? Okay. And there's someone else you're going to be getting to know. Someone else is going to want to get to know you and know you on a deeper level. But then this other person is going to come back in. And there's not enough chemistry with that person. So you got one person who's in your life in Aquarius season who's going to feel such a magnetic pull towards you and love you with that lover's energy. But then there's another person who didn't feel the chemistry at one point until you started moving on. And that's when their ego got the best of them. And they're like, wait, no, come back to me. While this other person who's in your life wants to get to know you on a real intimate level, even wants to know your freaking middle name, wants to know it freaking bagel you like this person cares about the mundane stuff this person just wants that ego boost i feel like i hate to say it like that but the way that devil card came out really gave me the heebie-jeebies this person's not looking for your your best interests they just missed the sex or they missed the um emotional attachment that you give them because i feel like you were very loving towards this person so if this resonated i will uh, dive deeper into the outcome and clarify these romance angels and the extended at the top of the comments But if this is where I leave you. I freaking love you Gemini so much If you could please hit like subscribe and share and comment down below what the hell's going on with your love life <laughs> That would be great. Bye Gemini